This is a family story. My name is Anne Louise Ross. I'm on the left, and with me is my brother, William Carter Ross III. This is my mom, Elizabeth Morgan Marie Hughes. She grew up in Oklahoma City. This story is about my dad's side of the story. Bill Ross grew up in a large family. Uncles John, Andy, Mike, Patrick, and Aunt Janelle. This is their dad. I call him Pappy. He is the first William Carter Ross. But this story continues on their mom's side. This is my grandma, Angela Minnie Anderson, born in Elk City, Oklahoma, on March 12, 1946. Her father was Haskell Reynolds Anderson and doctor in Watonga, Oklahoma, where she grew up. Her mom, my great-grandmother, is one of the people I am named after. She lived most of her life in Tulsa and Watonga, Oklahoma. Edna Louise Gundlach was the first generation in her family to be born in America. Great-grandmother was born in Canton, Oklahoma on March 20, 1916. Her father was August George Gundlach. Her mom was Wilhelmina Sophia Vizi. People called her Minnie. She was a naturalized citizen of the U.S., but she was born in Germany October 10, 1895. Her parents were Friedrich Wilhelm Vizi and Luisa Carlina Brunger. They were from Germany, North Rhine-Westphalia, in the region known as Detmold in the state of Kreis-Minden, near the cities of Minden and Donkersen, in a village known as Hassenkamp. Recently, my dad and grandma visited Minden, Donkersen, and Hassenkamp. They even found the church where Frederick was christened known as St. Peter's and Paul's Church. The church has kept many records and they were able to see the record of both his christening and marriage. One of the records was his birth certificate from 1857, which provided the names of his parents, another Frederick Vesey, but most interestingly, his mother's name was Sophia Cook, spelled K. O-C-H. Inside the church is the christening font that is hundreds of years old. This is the christening font or bowl used to baptize my great-great-great-grandfather, Frederick Vesey. Dockerson was an agricultural community back then that struggled near the turn of the century. Starting in 1840, a consistent immigration to the USA began. It lasted approximately until 1910. This immigration brought my great-great-great-grandmother and her family to the U.S. around 1897. While visiting the church, Dad and Grandma further explored Minden. Minden is a town of about 83,000. The town extends along both sides of the river Weezer. The town is over 1,200 years old and has many buildings in the Weezer Renaissance style. There are several interesting churches in Minden, the largest of which is the Minden Cathedral. A monumental basilica of the Roman Catholic faith during World War II, the church was almost completely destroyed, but it was rebuilt in the 1950s. Mentolin Canal traverses the town from east to west while the river Beezer flows from south to north. These waterways cross in the northern area of the town at the Minden Aqueduct, where the Mentolin Canal actually flows over the river Weezer. My dad and grandma saw other parts of Germany while there. 
They drove up and down the Rhine River, seeing many interesting towns and historical sites. They visited Cologne and, and the Cologne Cathedral. The cathedral has the second tallest spires and largest facade of any church in the world. They were also in Munich, Germany and spent a little time in Frankfurt. Love you, Grandma. I'll miss you.